This video will review how to use completing the square to determine the vertex form of a quadratic equation. The vertex form of a quadratic equation is y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k, where a is either the stretch factor or dilation factor, h is the horizontal shift, and k is the vertical shift. The vertex of this parabola can be found at the coordinates h comma k. If we can write the other problems in this format, we can quickly determine the vertex. To begin problem number one, we're going to group any term that has an x together. This would be the quantity x squared plus 10x, and then plus 32. We're now going to try to form the biggest perfect square we can using the x squared plus 10x. To do this, we're going to take the 10x and split into two piles. Half of 10 is 5. This tells me the form would be x squared plus 10x plus 5 squared. Now, if I'm adding 5 squared to the equation, I also have to subtract 5 squared to balance the equation out. Adding 5 squared and subtracting 5 squared does not change the equation. Now, to simplify 5 squared, that's 25. We can then say it's the quantity x squared plus 10x plus 5 squared plus 32 minus 25. And 32 minus 25 is 7. The last step is to rewrite the quantity x squared plus 10x plus 5 squared into either what we call factored form or the area as a product. We can simplify x squared plus 10x plus 5 squared as the quantity x plus 5 squared we still have the plus 7 at the end. Looking at this, I can now find the vertex of this parabola. Using the formula y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k, I can see that the horizontal shift is negative 5, or 5 units, to the left, and the vertical stretch is 7, the shift is 7 units up. We can then see the vertex is negative 5 comma 7. To begin problem 2, we'll again group any of the terms that have the x's. We get y equals quantity x squared minus 8x plus 3. Making the biggest square we can using x squared minus 8x, we'll split the eight, negative 8x up. Half of negative 8 is negative 4. So we'll say it's the quantity x squared minus 8x plus negative 4 squared. Now if I'm adding negative 4 squared, I also need to subtract negative 4 squared to balance the equation. Negative 4 squared is 16. So I'll get 3 minus 16 at the end of my equation. 3 minus 16 is negative 13. Rewriting the quantity x squared minus 8x plus negative 4 squared as a factored form or area as a product, I would get the quantity x minus 4 squared. We still have the minus 13 at the end. I can now find the vertex of this parabola. The vertex is going to be at 4 comma negative 13. To review, once we've grouped the x squared and the x's together, we cut the x in half to figure out what that last piece will be, and it's the quantity squared. Whatever we add on one side, we must subtract it to the other. We then combine the constants and factor out the quantity. Now let's take a look at some harder examples. Both of these have a value for a greater than 1. On problem 3, we see that y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. Again, we'll begin by grouping any of the terms that have x's. This will be the quantity 2x squared plus 8x, then plus 1. Now, because it's 2x squared, I'm going to factor out a 2. I'm going to say 2 quantity x squared plus 4x. The way I did that is I said that 2x squared divided by 2 is 1x squared, and 8x divided by 2 is 4x. Therefore, the 2 quantity x squared plus 4x. Now, breaking the 4x into two piles, I would see that it's 2x and 2x. So I'll get 2 quantity x squared plus 4x plus 2 squared. Now, this time, when I subtract the equal part, I'm not just taking 2 squared. I have two sets of 2 squareds. The reason I know that, again, there's a 2 in front of the parentheses, so it's going to be subtracted 2 times 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4 times 2 would be 8. So at the end, I'll have 1 minus 8. 1 minus 8 is negative 7. Therefore, I have y equals 2 quantity x squared plus 4x plus 2 squared minus 7. We'll now factor out the inner piece. x squared plus 4x plus 2 squared can be rewritten as 2 quantity x plus 2 squared and then minus the 7 again. I can now determine the vertex. The vertex for this parabola will be at negative 2, negative 7. Take a look at problem 4 now. Group it, and then figure out what number should we factor out of the parentheses. 
Hopefully you said 3. Being that it's 3x squared, we're going to factor it out. 3 goes into 3x squared once, leaves me 1x squared. 3 will divide into 24 8 times, that leaves me 8x. Therefore I get y equals 3, quantity, x squared plus 8x plus 50. Half of 8 is 4, so we'll rewrite it as 3, quantity, x squared plus 8x plus 4 squared. Now think for a minute what number would have to be subtracted at the end. We've already added 3 groups of 4 squared, therefore we'll need to subtract 3 groups of 4 squareds. 4 squared is 16, 16 times 3 would be 48, so we have 3 quantity x squared plus 8x plus 4 squared plus 50 minus 48. 50 minus 48 is positive 2. And then the last step would be to factor the quantity. x squared plus 8x plus 4 squared can be rewritten, and we would get y equals 3, quantity, x plus 4 squared plus 2. The vertex is therefore at negative 4, positive 2. Let's take a look at one more example. This example is a little bit harder because our b value is an odd number. The 7 is going to make the problem a little bit more difficult. To begin, we group any of the terms that have x's. This time, though, half of 7 is not a whole number. Instead of doing it as a decimal, we're going to say that it's 7 halves. So we would get x squared plus 7x plus 7 halves squared. Now, if I'm adding 7 halves squared, I'll also subtract 7 halves squared. The reason I'm going to use it as a fraction is it's easier to take the square of. Um, to simplify this, 7 squared is going to be 49, and then on the bottom, 2 squared is going to be 4. So at the end, the quantity 7 halves squared beco becomes 49 fourths. To subtract 4 minus 49 fourths, I'll need a common denominator. 4 can be thought of as 4 over 1. To get a common denominator, I'd have to have bottoms of 4, so I would multiply 4 over 1 by 4 over 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 times 4 is 4, so I would get 16 fourths. 16 fourths minus 49 fourths would leave me 33 fourths, and it'd be negative. Therefore, we get the quantity x squared plus 7x plus 7 half squared minus 33 fourths. We'll then take the factored form of the quantity x squared plus 7x plus 7 half squared. Rewriting this, we could say it's the quantity x plus 7 halves squared. This is why leaving it as a fraction makes more sense. It's easier to work with. Now this form may look a little bit com complex, but all it's telling me is the vertex for this parabola is going to be at negative 7 halves, comma, negative 33 fourths. If I went too fast, review the lesson and pause it where you need to. I hope this helps. Thank you.